in line with this, some people use their phone during interview. They ask you a question and you want to go and be pressing your phone. Really? Are you trying to understand the question by pressing your phone or are you trying to look for the answer by pressing your phone? They ask you a question and you are checking your Instagram post. Like, is the answer on Instagram? Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dan and I talk about education, entrepreneurship, finance, job, active income and passive income. Anything and everything that you need to be a success in life. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be discussing seven mistakes that job seekers make. The mistakes that have been stopping you from getting your dream job. In this video, we'll be discussing it, not only telling you the problem, but also giving you the solution that you need to secure your dream job. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first mistake that you are making that's preventing you from getting your dream job is being unprepared. Hey, you want a job? You have to prepare to get the job. You need to do research on the company, do research on the role, do research on the questions that they will ask you during the interview. If you want to get a job offer, you must be ready and willing to prepare yourself about the questions that they, are, they will ask you. Popular questions like, tell me about yourself. What are your strengths and weakness? What was your experience in your last leadership role? and several other questions that we ask you relating to job offers. You have to prepare yourself to answer them accurately and excellently. Equally, you have to know about the company. Nobody is asking you to know the name of the CEO, but you should know about the area that you have applied to. What do they do and how are you and how current are you about their latest development? So being unprepared is stopping you from getting your dream job so the solution is prepare for your interviews research and read on the roles and the company you've applied for be aware of the latest development or improvement that the company has made in that role because they will ask you these questions during your interview the second mistake that most interviewers make is dressing inappropriately if you're going for an interview it is advisable to dress like the way people that work in that firm dress. But if you are confused, go with suit and tie. Suit has been giving people job since the 17th century. Dress appropriately for the role you've applied for. You cannot apply to work in a bank and you're going to your interview wearing jeans. It does not speak well of you. It shows that you don't have decorum for the job. Dress in accordance with the role you've applied for. And in case you are confused, just go official. Nobody will decline your job offer because you dress official. But they are likely to decline your job offer if you are not dressed official. Please hit the like button so that YouTube will recommend this video to other job seekers so that they will avoid the mistakes that's preventing them from getting their dream job. So hit the like button now. Another thing that are stopping you from getting your job offer is talking too much. They ask you one interview question and you've told them the story of your life, the story of your family, how your parents divorced. Hey, who asks you that? They ask you what is your strength and weakness and you are telling them all stories about your life. Really? Interview answers must be within two to three minutes. So if your interview answers is exceeding three minutes, hey, 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 you are giving the wrong answer to the question. So please, you should be concise in answering your interview questions. Therefore, don't talk too much in the course of your interview. Talking too much will not give you the job. Your target should be to answer any question within two to three minutes. So please, be concise and don't forget to use the STAR method in answering your question. Situation, tax, action and result. Follow it and within two to three minutes, you've given the answer that will give you the job. And also, what stops some people from getting their job is talking too small. When you talk inadequately, they have given you 
three minutes to answer a question and you've only spent 30 seconds over and over again the interviewer was not thinking that you have nothing to say you've almost done nothing in your previous experience which can lead to a decline in job offer so you and i want to avoid that what do we do we answer our questions at a sufficient time not too small and not too long what can stop you from getting your dream job is not having questions for your interviewer your interviewer has been bombarding you with questions and most likely at the end he, he or she will ask you do you have any question for me and you're like no <laughs> i don't have a question for you really not having a question for your interviewer is not a sign of humility it's a sign that you are not well prepared for the role you didn't prepare for the interview so and if you are doubtful of the appropriate questions to ask your interviewer click on this link you are seeing where i detailed five questions you should ask your interviewer in order to nail your job offer hello prepare questions for your interviewer they are already expecting you to ask them questions and if you ask appropriate questions don't go and be asking them about their family life or about their previous job role or previous company that's being too personal as an interviewee ask the appropriate question that will give you your job offer not just asking questions for questions sake but asking questions that will give you the job offer another mistake that have prevented you from getting your job offer is showing low energy your interviewer has been asking you questions for your interview you are already prepared to answer yes i'm fully prepared but when they ask you you are not showing appropriate body language you're not showing confidence enthusiasm interest passion in answering your questions you are being weak low energy you're not well driven there's no conviction in your voice there's no passion when you're answering the questions it's almost as if if they give me this job i will take if they didn't give me a uh, uh, i'll look for another one show passion see the way i am making this video for you see the passion i'm using just to make a video for you imagine me in an interview passion interest z positive body language show it that's what they're looking for interest in the company interest in the role and they don't just measure it with your answer they measure it with how you say it in fact how you say it is as important as what you say prepare adequately for your job interview not just with memorizing the answers in your brain but also with your body language show a positive can do body language mentality so that you will nail your job offer in line with this some people use their phone during interview they ask you a question and you want to come and be pressing your phone really are you trying to understand the question by pressing your phone or you're trying to look for the answer by pressing your phone you should not use your phone during the interview it's a sign of uninterestedness in the company they ask you a question and you are checking your instagram post like is the answer on instagram don't distract yourself with your phone during your interview switch it off and talk to them like someone that's prepared to get the job offer they focus too much on themselves i me only me only i as much as you should talk about yourself it's not all about you look for how you will relate your experience to help the company the company is not hiring you because of you they hire you because you will help them achieve their own goal achieve their own ambition so if you want to get the job look for how you will tailor your skills your experience to solving the problems of the company to making the company a better place for their customers for their clients even for your fellow employees don't just be talking all about yourself there must be a link between who you are to how you will help the company get better that is sweet spot you should aim to be so if they ask you about your strength if they ask you about yourself good tell them about yourself but still relate it to how you will use it to bring solutions numerous and endless solutions to the company in line with this some interviewees even go there and start criticizing other employees and eh, the way their customer service is is too bad is poor is nonsense i will come and change it hey 
Don't criticize other employees because you want a job. If you are criticizing other employees, the interviewer will be afraid. That means you will criticize him too. So because of that, he won't give you the job. So please stop criticizing other employees because you want a job. Be generic with the product of the company instead of being specific to an employee. In fact, don't even criticize other job seekers like that are there for the interview. They will see it as pride. And pride does not give anybody job. One mistake that interviewees make is going to a job center without their ID card, resume, or proof of identification. Hey, some companies may pardon you, but it will distort you. It will distort your preparation for the interview. So please, kindly go with proof of identification for yourself. Also go with your resume. They are important and are useful for you to nail your job offer. And I'm sure that you will get the job by following these seven steps I've given to you and avoiding the mistakes that have affected previous job seekers. I'm sure you will get and nail your job offer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit the like button so that YouTube will recommend this video to other job seekers so that they will avoid the mistakes that's preventing them from getting their dream job. So hit the like button now. Thank you for watching. Please guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Love you all.